Good afternoon. I will be presenting uh, detecting Indian classical vocal styles from uh, melodic contours with Kausto. The outline of the presentation will be as follows. I will first give a brief introduction. Then I uh, will talk about the database used for the study, listening tests that were conducted, uh, then the features which were used for uh, Hindustani Carnatic classification, the scatter plots uh, of the result, uh, and uh, melodically motivated features, and uh, will be taken up by Kaustu. So, uh, uh, in this study, we are uh, doing style discrimination of Hindustani and Carnatic vocal music on the basis of melodic contour. The previous work includes class, uh, automatic recognition of raga. Also, Liu et al. tried to attempt uh, the uh, uh, tried to classify the audio signals uh, as Western or non-Western. And a recent study by Salomon et al. classifies Western genres or, uh, by using melodic features. Uh, as we all know, the uh, two styles have uh, distinct uh, have uh, evolved under distinct historical and geographical background. Uh, any Indian uh, Indian classical music uh, listener can distinguish the two concerts on the basis of uh, the instruments used in the performance and the melodic contour. Uh, a col common perception among the listeners is that. The uh, uh, in an alap section that is non-metered uh, portion, which uh, uh, is in the beginning of the concert, uh, unfolds slowly for a Hindustani uh, uh, style. While Carnatic alap use you there is a more usage of gamakas. So our hypothesis is that uh, the two styles can be distinguished on the basis of melodic contour of alap section. The database used. Uh, has popular ragas using same scale. Here we have used same scale ragas so that there should not be any bias during the listening tests of the listeners as the repertoire of both the style uh, ragas is quite big and uh, so common ragas will uh, remove the bias of listener towards style, cl style classification. So we have used 70 second alap durations of uh, 30 different audio clips of alap section uh, for 20 different artists. And we have considered Todi, Malcolms, and Jajavanti. Uh, we have chosen uh, these three particular ragas as Malcolms is a pentatonic rag, while uh, Todi has all the, all the swaras, and Jajavanti uh, has uh, nine semitones. That is, it uses both. Uh, Komalga and uh, Shuddhaga, while and Komalni and Shuddhani, depending on the context. Here, all the capital uh, letters signify uh, Shuddha Swaras, and small letters show uh, uh, Komal Swaras, whereas it is reverse for uh, Ma. From the melodic contour, we can. Uh, I'll just play uh, these two examples for you. So uh, as we listen to them, uh, any uh, uh, Indian classical music listener will be uh, will be able to distinguish the upper uh, pitch contour as Hindustani, while the lower one uh, is clearly a Carnatic one. 
we'll also listen to the resynthesized clips which were actually given to the listeners to uh, distinguish the styles mm -hmm. Listeners were asked to identify the style through pitch resynthesized clips randomly selected from the database. Uh, the uh, resynthesized clip clips had same volume dynamics as the original uh, audio, but just as we listened to the listen to it, it had vo uh, vowel-like sound. As we can see from the uh, 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 listening test results, high accuracy is obtained for Todi and Jajavanti for both the styles while uh, comparatively less accuracy was seen uh, from the listening tests for Malcolm's and its equivalent Hindolam. Probable reason for it might be that uh, Malcolm's is a pentatonic rag. Uh, it sh even in Hindustani style, it shows quite a lot of uh, usage of ornamentation. So for uh, Classifying both the styles, we are, we are using two measures. One is table note measure and measure of oscillatory gamak. So uh, here in for uh, finding the stable note measure, we are segmenting the pitch contour into steady and ornamented regions. A steady note here we define as a continuous segment of specified minimum duration within which the pitch value should exhibit a standard deviation of a p specified threshold. We have selected uh, this uh, these thresholds as 400 milliseconds and 20 se cents uh, empirically. For all the audio clips, the stable note measure was then uh, calculated as duration of steady regions greater than 0.5 seconds to total sung duration. Uh, here we can see uh, the st stable notes marked in black for both the styles as described uh, by the previous measure. Uh, for the me measure of oscillatory gamak, uh, there was a, uh, uh, we, there is a perception that Carnatic vocalists are more engaged in rapid oscillatory movements, while Hindustani vocalists spend more time gliding between the notes. So uh, uh, this, uh, this can be captured, uh, uh, the ornamented regions which were previously kept untouched, we have uh, uh, calculated for each one second window the energy ratio. It will capture the uh, oscillat oscillatory uh, parts. The uh, As we can see, the numerator has the range from 3 to 7.5 hertz, which is basically the uh, vibrato range. So uh, the gamma measure is, was calculated f as a uh, number of energy ratios greater than 0.3 to total number of energy ratios in that clip. Uh, these are peculiar examples of uh, gliding movement and uh, oscillatory gamma. So, so the energy ratio as expected is seen to be low for this particular pitch contour and high for this one. By using both the measures, the scat uh, we have plotted the scatter plot, which has uh, gamak measure on the y-axis and uh, stable note measure on the x-axis. As we can see, the uh, Carnatic clips have been clustered into a right top, top right corner, while all the Hindustani clips are to the bottom uh, bottom left. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the two parameters can be used for classifying uh, both the styles, while uh, uh, for, for uh, these parameters N and J were decided empirically for the current work for finding the stable note measure. But it is ne essential that musical concept of khadaswar or standing note 
will help to improve th this measure uh, by using musically better ground grounded parameter settings. So to talk about it further, I'll call upon Kausto. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Amruta. As we have previously seen in the previous work, the value of N and J, those were selected empirically as 400 milliseconds and 20 cents. But we tried to validate uh, this data uh, by some musicological background. So as you know, uh, the kharasfer, this term was selected as we define the kharasfer as a stable note of a longer duration within a specified threshold. So the position of stable notes with proper boundaries. So the boundary is more important here. So these were marked independently by trained musicians. And the duration of this kharasfer, its minimum maximum value, and the standard deviation in cents were calculated. And we have used the same previous database. Uh, we have selected two pair of ragas evident from the table, that is Malkon Sindolam and Jayavanti Dvijavanti, from two sets of Hindustani and Carnatic artists. So I would like to play the audio clips of both. As you can see, the kharasfer are highlighted by violet mark. We have selected the boundaries to show that each of the Hindustani and Carnatic clips are having three stable note or kharaswar marked by the musicians. So now I'll play the Carnatic one. I'll come to the results later, but let me mention that uh, from the Carnatic clip, uh, almost all the kharasfer boundary selected by the musicians are on the tonic sa itself, because other swaras are having more gamakas, so the musicians, they annotated uh, mostly the sa as kharasfer, and that is why the standard deviation value is also within some 25 or 30 cents in average, while Hindustani clips are having uh, almost uh, all the range of the octave uh, with the kharasfers and sometimes the deviation is also uh, within 20 cents and the third one is a different example but we found it interesting to put here for the study this is a duet performance in rag darbari by pandit bhimshen joshi and pandit m balamurali krishna so you can see the blue contour is of hindustani clip uh, i'd like to play it so we can see the duration of the kharasfer is almost 7.5 seconds here and in the alap section the average duration is above 5 seconds the segment we have studied from this clip whereas uh, I'd like to play the Carnatic contour the first one is the longest among the clips selected and that was near 4 seconds but the average duration of Kharasfer obtained from this recording was 1.5 to 2 seconds <laughs> Uh, 
and also you can perceive that the standard deviation uh, of this Hindustani clip is very steady. This has one another musical uh, background that is on the tonic sa, but on an average the gamaka or the deviation in Carnatic is higher. So these are the some uh, observations. So the perception of the kharas for marking was purely based on the Hindustani concept. The minimum value of the standard deviation was obtained for the tonic sa as expected musicologically. And also for the uh, fifth note pa, the results were similar. And the average duration of kharasfar is found to be comparatively less in Carnatic clips, whereas the standard deviation is higher. So this table shows the uh, large extents for our N and J study for scatter plot. So the minimum duration N in millisecond, it's found as 760 on Hindustani and 750 on Carnatic and standard deviation J is the maximum value 36 for Hindustani and 45 for Carnatic and if we detail show the uh, uh, observation in details we can see that this uh, standard deviation is sometimes higher because uh, in the ragas this was from Rag Jayajwanti and it was on the Swar Ray so it has a uh, andolan with Komalga so the pitch con uh, kharas were marked by the musician it the boundary contains some portions of that. That is why this Carnatic clip has a uh, bigger uh, standard deviation value. Otherwise, uh, so we can conclude as the listening test using the resynthesized melodic contours confirmed that the pitch variation provided a sufficient cues to distinguish between the uh, underlying style of performance. And secondly, the separation of clusters corresponding to each style that suggests that automatic classification of style from this ALAP section using the proposed feature is very much promising. The present study, the study of Kharasfar, it will be extended uh, up to the other sections of the concert such as metered section and to a study of vocal style differences across distinct music schools of Hindustani that are referred as gharanas in Hindustani and also the classification of performance using the musician's uh, interpretation of stable note will be compared with that from the data driven approach. So after this study we can correlate with the data driven approach with the musicological background to uh, uh, reach a final assessment of our project. So these are some references. Uh, thank you for your patient hearing. We would like to have some questions or suggestions. Thank you.